katika sehemu atakayoziko nyumbani kwao kaunti ya Narok. Shughuli za mazishi yake zilianza mapema leo baada ya mwili huo kusafirishwa kutoka Nakuru hadi kaunti ya Narok. Ndugu, jamaa na marafiki wamekongamana katika eneo hilo. Hebu tufuatilie kinachoendelea kwa sasa. In 1993, when he walked into our class, accompanied by Paulina Rocco, with the inquisitiveness of the pseudos, as we call Form 2s, them days, we quickly prompted you to tell us your name in a unique, deep, and husky voice that would later uh, rule our television airwaves. You replied, I am Rita Male. Of course, we would learn later that your admiration for reggae music had prompted the name. This marked our high school life together in a little known school at the heart of Marland, the Maasai girls. Rita, your command of the Queen's language was unparalleled. Your articulate as you read excerpts from the, look, the love book of them days which also served as one of our set books, the, sex, the Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, left us all wowed. We longed for your turn to read, just as we could enjoy your voice. It was not a surprise when you eventually conquered the country's airwaves, and we always prided in it as the MGs. Your outstanding humility will see you rise to become the class prefect, for the 95 MG class. As a commander in class, you exuded authority, yet fair in judgment. You steer the class to excellence, which will be witnessed by the remarkable results of the 95 MG class. This tribute will be incomplete if we don't mention your role in the out-of-class performance. Drama team marveled at your active role. The hockey team, all their performance in the days for your expertise, commitment, and love for the game. The debating sessions were spiced with your eloquence and admirable trails of thoughts, characteristics of your debating style. From the days of old, we knew you'd represent us well. Let me celebrate here how well. Rita, music was your thing. You knew the latest trending music and dancing styles. You'll bring us some cassettes of the most recent music and made our Saturday nights, famously known as Boogie, so unforgettable. You made us listen to night, the late night music, every evening during the holiday tuition. Certainly, your dream for media was born right outside Dome D. Girl, when you appeared in our screens, pride filled us as you ably represented the MG community. Yes, you covered every praise that you shared. And yes, every time you saw you on stage, we felt represented. A heroine has indeed fallen. You ran your race, you finished your race. There is definitely a crown laid out for you. To Mia, Robert Nagila, and Japan's family, may God comfort you. Thank you very much. The Maasai girls. Nam 